Good morning, church. Today, we get the opportunity to hear from Diane Jewell. A lot of you know her. We love her. She is one of the uh, ladies in our church who helps provide food whenever we're doing a uh, food event of some kind. She also puts in a lot of hard work with a lot of other people to keep the building clean and looking great whenever we're there in person. But I'm very proud of Diane because this last year, she has been through a lot of difficulty and her family's been through a lot of difficulty. And the amazing thing is that Diane has been the strength for the rest of her family in ways that she didn't ever think she could be. I want to encourage you to listen to this and to rejoice with how God has been working in her life and maybe to learn a little bit about how he wants to work in your life too. Hello, Lafayette Community Church. Diane here. I'm coming today to all of you in hopes that you're all doing well, keeping safe during this trying time that we're living in, and just express to you my thoughts on prayer and how it's helped in my life and the surprises that it brings with it. Recently, as many of you know, and I begin to sound like a broken record, but recently my family has went through a terrible tragedy and I know prayer works because during this time, actually let me back up, I was getting to the point where I was extremely worried. And I was worried because of how well I was handling what had happened, which was the death of a grandchild. And it was tragic. And I started to wonder why my emotions were so, I mean, even though they did get out of control, why, why they didn't get way out of control. Our family has been through many tragedies in our time. And I honestly, in the past, did not handle them well at all. And when this happened, first of all, I was scared of what you know, what it's what this is going to do to the family, what this is going to look like. But again, I was amazingly calmer than I thought I would be. And again, it started to worry me, but then I realized the day I found out, I fell to my knees, and during my crying and screaming, I was praying. I was praying to God. I was praying that he would watch over this family and that he would give me the strength to do what I had to do for everybody. I know that, the, that everybody looks to the older people involved to see how they handle it. And I think the way we handle it really rolls down to the younger generation. So in my prayers to the Lord, I asked for, for stability, I asked for strength, and amazingly I, I received that. And I didn't even realize I was receiving that. It wasn't until like a month ago I could start settling down myself, realizing, okay, you haven't fully grieved maybe because the Lord is providing for you. He's providing for you and your family. He's giving you the tools, the strength to take this burden on and to carry everybody through. What I have been praying for constantly is, is that strength, is that, that ability to keep going on to be able to help others. I want to help others, I don't, it, whether it's my family or the family over here, people in need of the church. I've always had an had a need to help others and I will continue that help it's kind of been slack I mean all this tragedy hit and then COVID hit and I haven't seen a lot of my church family and I don't know how long and all of you it took a big toll on all of us um, and it's really important that we continue to pray and pray together in hopes that our family will stay strong, and I do mean church family, will stay strong through this and will continue to be there for each other. Even if we can't be there physically for each other, we're there for each other. During this 
death of my grandchild, Kyle, so many people in church stepped up and they saved us in so many ways I couldn't even begin to explain. I want to thank everybody. I haven't even been able to, to do that face to face. And with all the struggles, it took me some time to finally make a list to start thanking people. When we ask for prayer, I think a lot of times, a lot of people, including myself, expects immediate. I want immediate. I want to see it. I want to know if you're there. I don't want to know you're listening to me. And we don't get that. Always. And then sometimes we'll get it in ways that we don't even understand it until, like, down the road. Oh, my gosh, he did, last, he did answer my prayer, but he answered it in his way, not mine. Um... And that's awesome, you know, and it, it, sometimes it takes us a while to understand that. But the fact that he does it is just so amazing. And I do believe it seems like the more people who get together and pray, the more of a, the, the better it is for us to see what, what comes of that prayer. Not that I don't think that the prayers are answered when it's just one of us, but it just seems like, I've seen so many times when people had health issues and a whole bunch of people got together and they prayed for this person and miraculously, they, they were fine. They made it. Um, and right now, I think we need to all be praying for each other, for this world, because it's pretty weird, definitely. One thing that I've learned about prayer is, again, you know, I've always felt selfish if I prayed for myself, but sometimes I still do. But one thing I've learned about prayer, again, is that it, it will be answered. Maybe not the way we want, but it will be answered. Um, there's so many things in my life that that's happened. I, I'm starting to rattle, so I cannot even remember a specific thing to bring, bring out, but it's there. One thing that's helped me also during this um, this time of, you know, this death and COVID and just everything is Ephesians. I, I remember one time when I was struggling really bad, um, our pastor, uh, I, we were talking and I needed the power of prayer and I needed to focus on God's safety, God's guard around me. Um, his... Uh, I'm going to have to look because I know I'm going to forget something. Um, his armor. Um, the armor of God, when you when you pray for that armor, you, you get it. And I've been praying hard for it, and I've, I've been seeing it. I have. I've been praying for it for a lot of other people, and I, I do believe I've seen that too. Um, what, what to me that means is safety. It means protections. Uh, protection and um, the whole armor is the expression of your full trust in God what he has done for us through Jesus Christ your spiritual war warfare was secured at the cross of Christ the, and the blood that was shed there that has helped me so many times and I hope it helps you I hope that when you're feeling weak and that you feel that you, you're in need, ask for his protection. Because it'll be there. It really will. Um, there's so much more I could say, but I don't want to bore everybody. So, And I'm, I'm going to keep losing my train of thought. So, I just, I really miss us being all together and being able to pray together. Um, but we can still pray. We can still pray and we can still be there for each other. We have to reach out for that, obviously. Um, we just, we must trust in God. We must trust in God. The one thing that I would like to do most of all during this time and any other time is continue to bring people to God. There's so many people out there, especially in light of everything that's going on in the world, Who's looking for answers? Who's looking for that one thing that's missing in him? And I find it truly amazing when somebody comes to me and, and they talk to me about it. So I, I can actually open up the Bible and show them a couple things.
not a whole bunch, but a couple. Um, so I just, I pray that we, we as a church, as we reach out to others, we continue to let them know, hey, he's there. He's, he's there for us. He, he watches over us. He protects us. And he answers our prayers. He does. And I hope everybody that's watching this continues to stay safe. And I hope that everybody watching this who, is, who has had to deal with some depression and anxieties because of the way the world is today. Um, my hands go out to you. And if you're here, I'd give you a big hug. But that's not really allowed anymore. So <laughs> someday, hopefully, again, we'll be able to do that. But we just, we need to continue to pray and pray hard for everything that is going on. Um, Jesus Christ, you know, he made it very clear that he was expecting us to be loving people. Not these people who are ready to attack on, on any given subject, on any given time. We need to continue to love one another and love our fellow man. So... Have a wonderful evening, church, and hopefully we will be getting back together soon. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. I'm so encouraged by what you have to say. It's amazing to me that sometimes we will ask God to answer a prayer and then forget we prayed it and then wonder why in the world things are going the way they're going. And then we reflect and say, oh, this is how God is answering that prayer in his way. It's happened to me far more often than uh, I think I even have recorded. But I think as we move forward through the rest of this day, the rest of this week, let's be people who remember that God does hear, He does answer, He does move in our lives. And whether we're praying physically in the same building or distant by technology, we know that God is with us. It says in the scriptures that we should be praying in the Spirit on all occasions. And so today, let's join together in spirit and pray. Lord God, we ask that you would be at work in our hearts. We ask that you would be at work in our lives. We pray that you would reveal to us clearly those times when you have answered our requests, even though we weren't paying attention to it. And we ask that you would be for us exactly what we need so that we could glorify you exactly the way you deserve. Lord, don't just give us what we want, but we pray that you would give us the strength in the midst of you giving us what we need, so that we could bring you glory, so that we could be a blessing to others, and so that this world might know that there's a God who's still in control and he loves us. Lord, thank you for giving us this day. Walk with us through it, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go and be a blessing in whatever way, in whatever relationships you have today.